Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Poria, Sports and Family Chiropractor in North Whitby. The topic of today's video blog is DOMS, or Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. This is a relatively new term for uh, an old problem that was first described by Theodore Huff in 1902. He decided that this type of soreness was caused probably by ruptures within the muscles. More recently and more accurately, the soreness has been found to be accompanied by ultrastructural disruptions of the myofilaments as well as damage to the muscle connective tissue. This tissue damage is thought to be most directly related um, to the soreness as it may increase the mechanical nociceptors and cause pain uh, to stretching and prodding. DOMS may take place because the inflammatory response process that sensitizes those nociceptors actually takes some time to uh, develop. That's the mechanism of DOMS, but how can you tell if this applies to you? Well, DOMS is a sensation of discomfort that generally occurs one to two days following the exercise or activity. It has been found most commonly at the junction of muscles and tendons. This is usually just away from the attachment, but not in the middle of the muscle or the muscle belly. After this, it will spread to the rest of the muscles. It seems that this type of soreness is different because it is caused by an eccentric as opposed to a concentric muscle contraction. So a concentric muscle contraction is, one, is the one that we usually think of. That is, the muscle shortens while working. An eccentric contraction is one where the muscle lengthens while contracting. For example, putting a weight down slowly after lifting it. Uh, another example of this may be, uh, uh, include hill walking where the quadriceps uh, on the front of the thigh uh, are used more in the downhill portion. Or the gluteus muscles while reaching for a, a tennis shot that's too low. Or the calf muscles when skiing with your buckles uh, uh, done up too lightly. Effectively, what occurs is microtrauma within the muscles. DOMS can be prevented uh, or at least reduced by gradually increasing the intensity, intensity of the new activity or the exercise program. The soreness can be avoided by limiting both eccentric and concentric uh, contractions. Sometimes these things are unavoidable, especially in activities requiring great control. For example, when throwing a baseball with speed or accuracy, uh, it is the triceps that generate the speed of the throw concentrically, but it is the bicep that contracts eccentrically to control uh, that action. Another possibility is to limit the length of eccentric contractions or the length of time of that contraction. So, Generally, the soreness is self-limiting. It disappears in about 72 hours. If some treatment is desired, anything which increases blood flow to the muscle, such as low-intensity work, uh, heat, or massage may help to some extent. Sports massage can help at each stage of conditioning by preventing muscle injuries as well as healing the injured ones. As unlikely as it sounds, Continued light exercise may actually suppress the soreness and increase the pain threshold and tolerance by an effect known as exercise-induced analgesia. This is known to occur uh, very often in um, endurance training. Now, NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories have been effective in reducing the symptoms of DOMS, but their side effects include disruption of the natural healing process. So when you visit your sports uh, chiropractor, make certain that you indicate there's a possibility of DOMS so that he or she can adjust, adjust the intensity of the treatment. Um, in this case, manipulation should be, as l should be light so as not to disrupt the, damaged, the previously damaged sarcomeres and should be accompanied by some appropriate soft tissue preparation. DOMS differs from strains and sprains where the soreness may appear immediately after the injury and requires cryotherapy or ice to minimize additional interstitial bleeding. Sprains and strains quite often are the result of sudden trauma, whereas DOMS often occurs after sustained contractions. Um, in this respect, the mechanism of the injury may be helpful as, uh, as, as well as the delayed time factor when deciding which has actually occurred. Finally, 
unlike a strain or sprain, the athlete suffering from DOMS should be encouraged uh, to resume light activities as soon as possible. Use of uh, kinesio taping in DOMS can also be quite helpful as it aids muscle contraction and creates a kinesthetic pain disruption. The difference being strains and sprains require rest to inhibit and reduce localized interstitial bleeding. I hope this has been um, helpful for you. If you're still unsure, ask your sports uh, therapist or sports chiropractor to help you discern the appropriate therapy. I'm Dr. Mark Poray and you can find me at the Brooklyn Natural Health Center. Uh, you can call 905-655-0752 or you can check out my website at www.drporay.com. You'll also find other video blogs at this website which may be helpful to you. Thanks.